Hey everyone, and welcome to this video going over how hash tables work and why it is the case that when I want to find an item in a hash table, I can find it almost instantly, but when I want to find an item in a list, I have to go through each item one by one until I encounter my item. Let's take a look at this example of trying to find an item in a list. If we want to find the word the in a list of do you know the answer, we have to go over each item one by one to confirm that it's not our word. In this case, we look through do, you, know, and we realize these words aren't our word. When we encounter the, we know that our word is located on index three. The worst case would be if our item doesn't exist in the list at all, or it's in the last position. This way we have to go through all the words in order to confirm that our item is either in the list or not. In a hash table, things work slightly differently. The items are still stored in the list, but they're not placed according to the order in which they were inserted in the list. Instead, they are placed at an index which is based on the hash of the value. Let's go over an example. Let's say we would want to find or place the word the in our hash table. We would take the word the, we would then perform our hash and get the number 553. This number is entirely dependent on your hash function and it's ideal that the hash of each value is different from one another. After calculating the hash, we take the hash modulo five to get the index of our item. In case of the word the, the index is three and thus we place or find the word the at the third index. The reason we do modulo five is because five is the size of the list in which the items are stored. It is very common that the list in which the items of a hash table are stored is larger than the amount of items in the actual hash table. Great, you say. I now instantly know where to find the item I'm looking for or where to place the item I'm looking for, but it's inevitable that at some point two items might get the same hash and be placed on the same location. How does this work? Let's go over two examples to solve the hash collision problem. It is important to know that both these solutions impact the performance of our hash table. And our lookup time is no longer constant, but is dependent on the largest amount of collisions, which is hard to know beforehand. Let's imagine we want to insert the word answer, but the hash of the word answer produces the same index as the word the. Now you can imagine that our hash table tries to place the word answer at the third index. But wait, the word the is already at that index. The first solution to this is called chaining, which resorts to storing a list of both the values at the same index. Alternatively, instead of storing both the values, we can also store the value the and a different address where the word answer could be found. The second solution is called linear probing. With linear probing, we see that the word answer cannot be placed at the third index because the word the is already at the third index. So we recognize this and instead move one index down and place the word answer at the next index. Now when we would want to find the word answer, we would compute the hash of the word answer, realize that it's three, we check index three, we'd confirm the fact that index three does not contain the word we're looking for, so instead we hop one index down. Hopping one index down, we see that the word answer is now there, and thus we found it. You can imagine that both linear probing and chaining have an impact on the performance of the hash table. Keep in mind that instead we could also increase the size of the list in which the values in our hash table are stored. And we could also change the hash function in order to prevent as many collisions in the larger list. Hopefully this video helped you understand how hash tables work and how they have a constant lookup time compared to lists. If it did, please leave a like. And if you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing. Peace.